Hello and welcome to the weekly Kit Plus News Roundup. Now we're still in the midst of a somewhat crazy trade show period and with NAB now a distant memory, we were split between MPTS in London and ISE in Barcelona last week. And this week it's the turn of Dubai to host CAPSAT, the region's largest event for creative broadcast pro AV and satellite communities. Before we tell you what to expect in Dubai, though, check out the ISE YouTube playlist where we reported direct from the show floor, speaking with numerous exhibitors showing kit scene for the very first time and even some that is still in prototype mode, including a prompter for PTZs from Data Video. Let's take a quick look at a few of the highlights. What makes this different to the traditional prompters that we've had and that we're, we're well known for is that this is specifically designed for pan, tilt and zoom cameras. But yes, this is the new TriCaster One Pro. This is the latest addition to the TriCaster family at NewTek. Okay, so then from there we have the Pro Mini. Uh, what we do here is we can configure it with as many as three different video inputs and configure three channels of streaming and recording. This right here is the iCast 10. This is not only an HDMI and SDI switcher, it can also switch sources coming in from the internet by using SRT streams. So the unique selling point actually is the flexibility you have in the lens uh, system. We are able to, to turn the lens system uh, in two axes. Okay. The first one is this. You can turn by 360 degree, which give, gives you a lot of flexibility in the installation. So all our cameras support streaming and uh, we have just uh, introduced for the first time the KYPZ510, which is uh, a 4K 5060p camera, which can stream in 4K. We have a new software for our products, a new GUI to control them and set them up. It's called Lynx Central. We're featuring here a 1.9 megapixel LED screen from Alpha Light. Uh, we're using uh, Nova Star processors and the star of the show is VP Pro XR. And I would like to present to you today our BC301 wide-angle POV camera. What do I mean by that? It's a 4K camera that can do up to 60 or 50 frames depending on where you are and it has 102 degrees of horizontal field of view. On the front you see a manual uh, focus uh, ring that you can set up and in the back we will have an HDMI connection and a USB connection that is live at the same time and also an IP connection to stream. Over here we have Data Video's KMU200. This is a 4K, 4, 4K input uh, production unit that uses the resolution of 4K to create cutouts. So this is a new product we're showing here. It's NGI, it's called KiloView NGI Core Max. Okay. And it's a, it allows to control, organize, and route NGI sources. We got two cameras showcasing today. We got the UE50 and the UE100. Both cameras are connected to our system two ways with SDI and with NDI and NDI HX. So basically you got a lot of different options to connect to your system. You can also connect via USB-C if you want to, and it makes it possible to do lecture capturing in a more engaging way. And to see all the interviews from IC, just check out the playlist on our YouTube channel. So we're gonna head over to CAPSAT and the news from there first as the show starts tomorrow. And we'll begin with the Great Britain and Northern Ireland Pavilion, which is managed by Tradefair. Yeah, so here's the starting lineup. Argosy is a leading supplier of cables, connectors, and critical broadcast infrastructure components with a sales office and large stock holding, more importantly, in Dubai. Then we have Disguise, who shot to prominence with their stunning extended reality software creation and realization tools. You can see Domo for technically advanced wireless camera connectivity systems, allowing cameras to be placed pretty much anywhere. ETL Systems, they design and manufacture RF equipment for satellite ground stations and microwave links. There's GB Labs, who are a global leader in intelligent media storage for creatives working in video production and delivery. And there's Mark Roberts Motion Control, who are regarded as a world leader in motion control camera rigs for precisely repeatable moves, which is an increasingly important requirement in volumetric production these days. Absolutely. Next, we have Melexia, formerly Sematron, with more than 30 years experience in satellite uplinks and network management. Novella Satcoms provides a broad range of solutions for satellite tracking, uplinks and test translators for commercial and military applications. And Open Broadcast Solutions develops encoding and decoding software solutions to accelerate the delivery of content over IP. 
Also at Capsat is Pebble. Now, they're a globally successful provider of automation, plow, and management solutions for broadcast enterprises, large and small. Spacebath Communications, they design, manufacture, and support a broad range of uplink amplifiers and associated equipment for satellite operators. And Cinemedia has seized on the benefits of cloud processing and storage to develop transformative video solutions and workflows. Telestream develops products for media processing and workflow orchestration with much of the software now available for cloud implementation as well as on-premise. TSL Products has a well-established reputation for innovative control and monitoring systems for IT-based workflows and audio. And finally, Mosis is a world leader in camera tracking and image robotics and in virtual and remote production. Here's Philippe to tell you why you need to go and see them. Hi everyone, my name is Philippe Vignal from Mosis. We will be at CAPSAT May 17th, 19th, and we would love to meet you to show you our virtual content production solutions. Star Tracker for optical camera tracking, VP Pro XR for LED volume content production. You can see cinematic XR focus, you can see virtual set extensions, multi-camera switching, if you have any projects, please stop on by and let's talk. Thank you. See you then. Thanks, Philip. Now, that clip was shot last week at ISC, where they were showing XR set extensions and augmented reality for a virtual world beyond the boundary of the LED wall. Such a cool demonstration to see up close and really demonstrates the value of getting along to a show in person. In other CAPSAT news, EditShare will be introducing its new Flex Cloud solutions. And I had the chance to speak with CTO Stephen Talamani recently at NAB. Here's a quick overview of Flex. So um, EditShare Flex is our, our cloud, uh, new cloud solution. Uh, and it brings together workstation management so you can log into remote workstations, e edit on them with your favorite editing um, applications like Adobe Premiere or uh, DaVinci Resolve. You can connect through to our uh, media asset management flow and to our uh, storage. And that's all uh, wrapped up into a, a package that's very easy to use. What we've learned over the last, sort of, during the pandemic, we've had a load of customers who've been working in the cloud. Uh, uh, GBH, uh, the, one of the broadcasters here in, in, in Boston, you know, they've been using our cloud solution, but lots of them, government agencies, educations, and what we've learned from that is, you know, it's very, there are a number of things you need. Get your content into the cloud quickly, so we've got file acceleration there, manage your workstations, and then, you know, have really good, strong asset management. So Flex is, you know, kind of combining all the things that we've learned and made it very easy for people to adopt the cloud now based on our experiences with customers. For the full interview, you should visit the NAB playlist on our YouTube channel, along with Hundreds of others from Las Vegas, of course. Next up, Eurovision Song Contest witnessed the latest cutting-edge multimedia distribution solution known as 5G Broadcast, which brings the live concert to mobile phones. The live event was produced and distributed to selected mobile devices by Rai Radio Televisione Italiana. Hopefully that's the right way to say that. The national public broadcaster of Italy. And in order to deliver the live show via a full end-to-end -end 5G broadcast multicast streaming demonstration, Rai teamed up with Roden Schwartz and Qualcomm Technologies Inc. Running throughout the show, the demonstration showcased the broadcast multicast capabilities over 5G, where the live encoded content is transmitted by Rai in Torino using a 5G broadcast signal over the air to smartphone form factor tested devices from Qualcomm Technologies. Spectral Logic annual storage report is always of great interest and something we cover in the news. This year, however, we're going to let Mr. MXF tell you all about it. Spectral Logic has released its annual storage report and it's a good read. IDC predicts that the global data creation and replication market will experience a compound annual growth rate of 23% over the next five years, and Gartner forecasts that worldwide IT spending will total $4.5 trillion in 2022, an increase of 5.1% from last year. Now, electronic component shortages may still lead to supply chain issues, which might affect those forecasts or maybe even the prices. Whichever way you look at it, they are huge numbers, totally dwarfing the combined size of the cinema, TV and streaming markets. Now, the big takeaway from this report is that the tiered storage mechanism we use today, ranging from SSDs to rotating magnetic drives to tape, will be with us for the foreseeable future. 
Seagate and Western Digital now have 20 terabyte disks, LTO 9s at 18 terabytes, and SSDs that get ever faster with 10 gigabyte per second promised later this year. And in the cloud migration trend, I see lots of ultra high definition content living at rest in the cloud later this year. But for now, I'm going to explore the ultra high aroma penguins here at Edinburgh Zoo. Enjoy. Penguins and storage, who'd have thought it? Thanks to Mr. MXF starting his new career there at Edinburgh Zoo. LiveView has announced the acquisition of EasyLive.io as part of its strategy to expand its cloud video platform. The move will provide remote and collaborative tools for cloud-based and hybrid productions, enabling customers to operate and scale up while still lowering budgets. Quickly and easy from anywhere, including video switching, audio mixing, adding graphics, localizing content, and bringing on guests. Now, if you didn't know already, then EasyLive.io provides all the tools needed to edit, mix, and broadcast live streams in the all-in-one user-friendly cloud solution, reducing production and equipment costs. Tag Video Systems has announced that its media control system is a winner in the monitoring and measuring tools category of the 2022 NAB Show Product of the Year Awards. Tag's MCS is the newest layer of its real-time media performance platform, a multi-level open source solution that monitors, aggregates, manages, and utilizes data-driven viewer analytics to provide users with the insight required to build performant linear media systems. If you aren't familiar with Tag, here is a quick recap where I had the chance to chat to him recently. Zero friction is the strategy and culture of Tag okay. and, and has been for 14 years. And the evidence of that is, is right behind us. What you're looking at is a Tag is a probing, monitoring and visualization software often called a multi-viewer. Yeah. We have all of that functionality in a single product. If you buy a license of TAG, every single feature that you see here that is required for live production, and in live production, the, the requirement is a multi-viewer, a very, a very fast multi-viewer uh, that has super low latency, that can give you the utmost quality so that when you're doing your, your live production event, the technical director has the best look on the content. Um, and technical directors in that part of the business can be quite artistic and they want a lot of flexibility on how they set up those multi-viewers. Yeah. Every single feature that you're looking here on the left-hand side in our live production simulation here yeah. is, is included in our license. You then, after live production, the source goes to, to, uh, to play out where there's a lot of information added to the content, graphics, cool. etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, and in that case, a, the tag system is, is not only the multi-viewer to look at it, but it's also a probe. And we're probing for errors that can happen between the delivery of the content from live production over to the playout facility. That was Kevin Joyce there, whose job title is Zero Friction Officer. To find out what that is, then take a look at the full video on the NAB playlist with literally hundreds of new product updates, releases, and exhibitor news stories. Televisor Polsat, one of Poland's largest broadcast media companies, has chosen leader reference signal generators and hybrid IP SDI test and measurement instruments for a recently completed IP-based 4K HDR outside broadcast camera truck. They've chosen LT 4610 IP SDI video sync generator, LV 5600 IP SDI waveform monitors, an LV 7600 rasterizer and an LT 4448 emergency changeover unit. CJP Broadcast Service Solutions has started a major project for the University of Sunderland. This latest venture comprises four elements which will enable the Faculty of Arts and Creative Industries to teach the very latest techniques in virtual production, TV production and outside broadcasting. So the project includes the provision of a curved LED volume incorporating the latest Moses LED technology and Bendak Infilled 1.9mm LED panels. The upgrade of an existing TV studio, the integration of a motion capture and virtual camera system into the 4K UHD Chroma Key Studio, and finally, a mobile production kit based on a StreamStar X4 capable of accommodating up to four camera channels, plus a wireless camera link, the LiveView LU300 field unit, and a Hollyland wireless intercom. Sounds great, and an interesting project we'll be following, I'm sure. Now, finally this week, NewTek has announced a quest to find and celebrate the everyday operators of the iconic TriCaster line with the TriCaster Director of the Year Awards. And they're calling all visual storytellers, creatives, directors, live content producers, and maestros using the TriCaster. Yeah, entries for the awards open on the 19th of May. 
So for more information, head over to newtech.com forward slash T-D-O-T-Y. That's it for this week. Other than to say that we're very pleased to say that MCD Auctions, who you all know, has now decided to run their auctions on the Kiplos Auctions platform. So for more information on that, to go and get yourself a bargain, go head over to uh, mcdauctions.co.uk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.